So guys, welcome back to the channel. Like always, this is the Ian West Network, and today I have another headset for you. So this is from Five Below, in case you were wondering, $5.55, you see the sign right there. They're called the Slim Wireless Headphones. Now, let me just talk about a little bit of things. It does come with a 3.5 headphone jack, which is really good. So for the person that wants to switch between Bluetooth, uses connected to a tablet, a phone, a PC, you do have the option to do that. It says it has high quality sound, but hey, listen, We'll be the judge of that once we actually open this up. You're getting three to four hours of battery life, and that will determine if you're listening to about between 50% to 100% at one time. It takes about an hour and a half to two hours to fully charge it from zero to 100%. To be honest with you, that charge time is a little egregious, I gotta be honest with you, but it doesn't change the fact that it still has a headphone jack so you can use it as a secondary way if it dies. So that's a pretty cool thing. Anyway, let's open this up and see if it's actually worth the asking price, which is a whopping $5.55. So once you tear open the package, just to save you some time, this is everything that comes with the actual device. You have your instruction manual right here, which I will show you guys in a different section. This is your USB-C. Uh, let's see where it charges, just to double check. All right, so it looks like on the right side, it'll say left, it'll say right. On the bottom of the right side is where the USB will connect right here when you need to charge it. You can plug this up to a computer. You can plug it up to a wall charger outlet. However, whatever charging method you have should work just fine, but just be careful. Don't use extremely high wattage wall outlets like the little uh, power bricks because you don't want to have anything overcharged and cheaper products may not have that overcharge protection. So just keep that in mind. You have your 3.5 headphone jack that goes right here, as you can see. And the good thing about it is that it just doesn't have a microphone on it. It doesn't need it because the microphone itself is actually in the headset. So that's why this can double down as a headset that you can use plugged into a Steam Deck, some type of Nintendo Switch, some type of PC, because those normally have headphone jacks also, or just direct Bluetooth, but to each their own. The, the, I would assume that the cord, the cord would probably give you better sound, not sound, but connectivity because it's directly connected. But we'll we'll check that out later on in the video. But so far, it looks pretty good. I like it. Um, it is just this one cheap, like if you squeeze this, I don't know if you can see me squeezing that, but it's pretty easy to squeeze. I'm assuming the wire runs inside of this right here, but I, I can't imagine it not being comfortable because it's not much, I'm not gonna say it's not much support on the top of your head, it's not, it, it, it just, it feels like you're wearing practically nothing at all. Yeah, as soon as I put it on my head, you can barely even tell that this is even on the top of your head because of how thin it is. So that's pretty cool. Very, very ultra lightweight headset. Um, you have your power button right here, your plus and your minus, which probably double down its volume up, volume down and changing songs. But that's for us to look through the instructions in another section, like I said. So, so far, it seems like a pretty solid headset. I like it, you know, it seems uh, simplistic. The real question is how to actually use it. So we're gonna go over that in a moment. So the syncing process shouldn't be too difficult. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. It's one of two ways. Either you power on the headset and it automatically puts in sync mode or you hold the power button to manually put it in sync mode. Some headsets, the older ones, you have to manually do it by holding it. More than newer ones, you just hold the power button. So let's try that first method first. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this. All right, came on. As soon as it came on, it's blinking red and blue, which means that it's automatically in pairing mode, so you, you don't have to worry about that. Remember that second method was holding the button. Just power it on, it'll automatically be in pairing mode. See, let's see what this is called. Um, Slim BT headphone. That's definitely what it is, because this is called the Slim Wireless Headset. So I'm gonna tap that Slim BT. Uh, while you're looking at this, right, it's blinking. I'm gonna press yes to pair. And boom, it is paired. You saw it right there, it's blinking, it was blinking solid blue. That means that it's now currently connected to a device, which is right here. Um, looks like right outside of the box, the headset actually has about a good 90% in battery. So that's a good thing. Makes this review a whole lot easier when it comes to actually having a headset that has decent battery life. Now, shouldn't have any problems taking moving forward. So I wanna show you how it looks on the actual head. This is the headset. This is how it's going to look. 
Actually, you know what's funny? This actually pulls back and forth also. I forgot to show you that in the beginning of the video for the people that need to adjust it for bigger head sizes. But so far, it works for me just fine. Let me uh, tighten it a little bit, actually. I prefer it a little bit more tightened. So this is how it fits for me. This is how I normally wear my headsets, where this part is up here, a little pushed up to the back a little bit more. It makes it a little easier, lightweight for my head. I used to have a lot of heavy, heavy, heavy headsets back in the day. But I mean, it's pretty simplistic. Like I said, it's not that much head support right here. So that may look a little weird to some people, but for the price tag and for the light efficiency, it feels like nothing's on my head at all. It's actually super, super lightweight. And I feel the ear muscle on the side of my ears, but you know how with certain headphones, it feel like it's smashing your head because of the, the lack of flexibility. Well, these are super, super flexible. So it works really well for me in that regard. So no complaints when it comes to wearing it for like an excessive amount of time. The most I've worn it was an hour and a half, but outside of that, there was like zero soreness whatsoever. So that's a good thing. So I have the headset on right now currently, and we're gonna play Warzone. Now for the people that aren't aware of this, this is music that you can play on YouTube, that is YouTube friendly. They have their own a set of music in their YouTube studio application. So check that out when you get a chance, if you're ever a YouTuber or anything like that. But outside of that, um, let's just, I'm hoping the music quality is going to be good. So I, I've spoken long enough, let me hit play. The sound is really deep and really rich. The instruments mesh well. I don't hear any like colliding sounds or like breakages. The bass isn't too dominant either. It's like, it's really good. I would give the bass a, a, a six out of 10, to be honest with you. Or a seven, to be safe. Actually, I would give it a seven. It doesn't overpower the song. Okay. 100% volume can definitely give you a headache. Okay, so let, let's talk about this. As I turned the volume up to 100%, I did notice, notice a slight distortion in quality, but not enough where I'm like, oh my gosh, I wanna turn it down because it's like a grainy effect or anything like that. It's not bad at all. Now, um, the instruments sound very, very good on this headset. The violin that was playing, when the bass dropped, uh, the, the little key notes that led up to that point, everything sound just quality. It sounds very, very good. Like I would compare this to probably a J Lab headset, if we're being completely honest here, like one of their cheaper headsets. And that's not a disrespectful. That actually means that the quality of the drivers and sound is actually pretty good in this headset. Now, the downside, I gotta talk about that, is that you know, when you use other brands like Soundcore and the other ones, again, I'm I'm comparing it to that. Even though I don't expect the quality to be better, but I want to compare it to something that I talk about on the channel all the time so you can get an idea a better assessment of how much I'm praising the actual headset. The only downside I heard like was that it feels like someone's covering the speaker. Like if you like if you listen to a car speaker from the outside, you're not sitting inside. That's what it kind of sounds like when it comes to the overall sound. The quality is still there, don't get me wrong. It's just not the cleanest setup. It's, all right, you know, here's a better example how rap was back in the day compared to rap music now in terms of the producers and the quality of the track you couldn't make a quality track back then the way you can today because the technology just didn't exist to sharpen the music if you know what i mean versus how it is now so it still sounds good it still sounds great it's just that you can tell that it's not quite up to par with a lot of the more expensive headsets that may be 20 30 40 dollars but for five dollars to 55 cent this is still a contender that's not bad at all Anyway, I'm going to play Fire and Ice and see how that goes. Because that has vocals. It sounds really good. This is surprising. This is the type of headset that you hold on to. Just to keep in the tuck in the closet in case you ever need something. Something breaks. You won't be disappointed with the sound. Especially if you're used to higher end headphones. I'm not mad at this. This is really good. Five. Sounds good. Okay. The quality is there. Like, and, and again, when you change songs, sometimes you might listen to crunk music. You might listen to rock. You might listen to K-pop. Whatever it is, right? Different headphone profiles do things differently. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't have a sound profile where you, or an application where you can change the equalizer. So what you get is what you get. And so far, it sounds very, very good, very crisp, very clear. 
Um, it still does have that effect like you're standing outside of a car. It don't mean the speaker isn't bad. It just sounds like, you know, that extra thump. Like sometimes it feels like the the bass could over, overtake a particular part of the song, but then it comes right back on when it, when the instrument comes out. It's the, the balance isn't quite there in the music quality in this headset, but it's still good enough where it can beat out a lot of headsets that are $15, $20. And that is super surprising. The only thing it can't beat out is the battery life. And you know, it, that, that is what it is. Hopefully I didn't confuse anybody, but I was really passionate about what I was talking about. I gotta find a better way to explain this stuff, but you know, it is what it is. Let's go over to the next section. So this is going to be a sample of how the headset is going to sound if you're doing either recordings or phone calls. Let me explain. So because I'm speaking to you guys directly with the headset currently on, this is the sound coming out of the microphone. Now it may vary based on your service provider depending on your Bluetooth connectivity and things like that. So just keep that in mind. There are different variables, but this should be how it is. Now, I haven't heard the sound. I'll be hearing it when I do the edit to this video. So if you as a consumer say, well, you know what? I don't have a problem with the music quality. I don't have a problem with the call quality. I'm just going to use these from time to time and charge them here and there. And I have the option to still use the 3.5 headphone jack and all that. That's just nice features to have. I'm a firm believer that when it comes to these cheaper headphones at five below, if you're going to have a lower battery life, it's good to have a headphone jack for the person that still wants to be able to use their headset so they don't feel like they're handicapped because of the quality of the product. And I think they deliver it in that regard. So with that being said, let's hop on over to the next section. So this right here is the instruction manual that everyone needs to see. A lot of times people lose these early on or they'll get headsets or take it from family members or stuff and, and borrow it indefinitely and y'all know how to use it. <laughs> so that's what the instructions is for. So if you look right here, here's the user manual. Um, I'm It's just how to use the description of the buttons, short key, long key, what they do. Remember I told you, I think I said that at the beginning of the video, that the uh, plus and minus volume up and down, if you hold it, it's gonna change the song. That, that was actually true, says that right here. Uh, you have tips for the low battery charge, technical facts, things like that. So just go ahead and screenshot this or take a picture of it with your camera so that you can just take a look at it and you'll have the instructions moving forward. Now what's funny is that this says the uh, Bluetooth lasts four to five hours right here, but the box says three to four. So that's kind of crazy that they have different instructions <laughs> on the outside and on the inside. That doesn't make any sense. So you see right here, it says, uh, four to five hours, right? And then on the front of the box, it says three to four. So that's false advertising, but it is what it is. You know, again, it's $5 and 55 cent. What do you honestly expect? So if you're wondering this, if this headset is worth the asking price, absolutely. I like the headset a lot. Now with the music profile part, I did give it a little bit harsher criticism than I should. Again, it's still a great headset in terms of battery life. I mean, not battery life, I'm sorry. Quality of sound, the headset is great. When it comes to just flexibility, how it feels on top of the head, I don't have any type of fatigue or, or any issues whatsoever. So if you're one of those people where you wear headsets all the time and you don't want that dent in your head, <laughs> that famous dent from wearing oversized headsets sitting in front of a computer, this definitely is a preventer to that. Now, it's obviously not better than the higher end brands like JBL and JLab and stuff if you're trying to use it as a all the time headset. I mean, quality of music it is definitely there. I don't have an issue there. But again, you know, people prefer products that may have a warranty or if it breaks, you can see it again inside the store. Five Below is kind of, you buy it, you better hope that they have more if something does happen. Otherwise, you're gonna have to find another product. So just kind of keep that in mind. But I do like it. I don't have any issue with it. I don't have anything bad to say about it outside of the battery life could definitely be better. They need to start having five hour to, to well, seven to eight hour, nine to 10, something like that. But again, I, I have to temper my expectations because it is five below. I'm getting too greedy over here. But anyway, like and subscribe like always. And I will see y'all in the next video.